Hey guys, good morning. It's the beginning of day three. Um, it's Monday, November 12th, I believe. And uh, here's my campsite from last night. Really small. Good that that duplex will just fit in in really small spots. So anyway, the trail's about 10 feet up there. In fact, we'll just go up there. And uh, hopefully we're going to try to bust out 20 miles today that would be great that's what i was trying to do yesterday i fell just a little bit short but i'm sure today will be better unless i don't find the trail <laughs> i think i walked past it already i think it's lower yeah i did that's how close i was to it Yeah, it's right here, <laughs> right past it. So you can see, I was just right down there in that little spot. So maybe 10 feet. So anyway, it did rain a little bit last night, not too bad. And uh, so I'm prepared. If it starts to rain today, I've got all my gear ready. So here's our first blaze. And we're going to probably not get through this whole section I'm in between the river section now between 11 point and uh, current river so let's do it Well, it's pretty cool. You could slide up in there if you had to, I guess, but, ooh, claustrophobia. Check out this really nice open area. really cool this is like tent site paradise right up there looks really good too bad it's only 8 30 in the morning you can see the trail right here it's kind of hard to see you can see a marker here but you'll go for a while and you won't see any so you just kind of have to look for that open corridor through where you're walking and uh, so far this morning, well, I can see another one up there. Now that I'm filming, <laughs> markers everywhere. But um, it hasn't been bad. I've just been sort of following the contour through and just kind of trusting myself. And so far, it's been working. So um, I would say this trail is um, harder to follow than the other ones I've been on. But it's also because there's so many leaves obscuring the path that, you know, not through here, this looks real easy. You can just kind of see where it's going through there. But anyway, uh, so far, uh, it's a beautiful morning. It's not really super cold. I mean, I have my green puffy on, but I have it unbuttoned and just have a short sleeve shirt on. No gloves. <laughs> As long as I'm moving, everything's great. So, anyway, between the river section, so far I'm loving it. Yeah, I have been able to find water today. I haven't been stressed about it. I've just been drinking it and, you know, knowing that I'll find it. And so far I have. So, so far everything's good. Pretty. The Ozark 
trail. Mm -hmm. Feels pretty good. across this thing. And you can see all these reeds, this yellow grass from a long way away. So I had a feeling that this was going to be the pond. All right, I think we're around mile 37, um, let me look, Gotham Pond, where are you Gotham Pond, 36.4, I'm hoping to get as close to 50 as I can, so another ambitious day, I'm hoping to pull a 20 every day, but uh, I'll settle for 18s, but I have to do a minimum of 16.4 miles a day or I will not finish in time and I will have to bail out to go back to work, so I'm not going to let that happen. I think I've seen uh, more good campsites today than I've seen in the first two days, so uh, maybe that will continue. There's not many, I haven't seen any established campsites, there's no fire rings and stuff like that, so I'm just, you know, finding a spot when I get tired at the end of the day, and I don't, I think I've walked by one or two fire rings, so it's just not very well, uh, there's just not a lot of little campsites on this, so I really like that. Came across another little pond up here. Actually quite pretty with all the leaves on the top. Look at these guys, little leaf boats. That's pretty cool. Oh, I just saw a couple deer take off up that hill and I tried to get the camera out, but man, they're so fast. Um, yeah, I just saw two over there and probably about half a mile back or less, I saw three and they have all been really big size. All those, I haven't seen any bucks, but maybe, uh, I'll get lucky and, oh, I can still see them up on top of the hill. Barely, I can just see their white tails. Maybe I'll get lucky though and I'll be able to catch some on camera. But that's five today, so that's cool. There's a lot out here. Uh, probably gonna have to stop for a break here soon. I haven't even all day uh, for snacks or anything. I've had water and I have had a few snacks while walking but I really do need to eat something. I'm just kind of being stubborn wanting to get some miles in so anyway probably be taking a break soon. Maybe we'll find a cool spot. We'll see you over there. Well hey guys I guess uh, it is gonna rain today. Um, really not <clears throat> too bad it's really sleet so it's not super wet I mean I know when it keeps up for several hours it will be but uh, right now I just got the pack cover on and uh, using my umbrella so maybe a little less filming through here I was just at a break spot and I was <laughs> trying to air the tin out, dry it out a little bit, and all of a sudden it started, but I was able to get it put up before it really started coming down. So anyway, it's about 12.30, so we got about four, 
hours and 15 minutes. So we're gonna try, I keep saying we because I'm not used to Jackie not being here. It's really strange not having Jackie. But uh, I am gonna try to make at least eight miles, hopefully a little more, and get as close to mile 50 as I can today. That would be great. So we'll check in with you in a little bit. Hey guys, it's uh, finally let up with the sleep and uh, wasn't too bad. Stayed pretty dry, really just my feet are pretty wet, but as long as I'm moving, they're fine. And uh, just past, I'm guessing that's County Road 167, because it says it's a gravel road. <laughs> so if I'm right, that is mile 44.6. Which gives me, what, 5.4 miles to reach my goal of 20 today. So I'm hoping this is it. <laughs> and it uh, looks like I'm coming up to another gravel road in a couple miles. So we'll be able to tell. Looks like all the next mile marks are roads. So anyway, I'm going to keep heading that way. Even though I thought the sleet was awesome. You know, I've never um, hiked in that, so maybe I'm weird. I thought it was kind of fun, but uh, I could see how if you had to do it for two or three days in a row, maybe not. But anyway, got the umbrella ready here just in case it uh, kicks back up. So there's a really large body of water through here, but I don't see anything about it on the map. Um... It's like my next water source is a place called Devil's Run, but I'm not far enough to be there yet, so not really sure what this is, but I do know right over there there's a road. I just saw a car go by, um, so I don't know. This uh, These mile marks are really strange, so um, I don't need any water, so I'm just going to keep moving. Um, I was taking a break at a water source when I started getting the sleep thing happening so I'm pretty well stocked up and I'm just gonna keep moving Bristol Cemetery Road mile 46.2 that sort of gives me an idea of where I am hello van Alright, 46.2, so if I can just get somewhere between 3 to 4 miles, that'd be close. So, I'm just going to keep pushing, see if I can get over there. It's definitely Bristol Cemetery Road. Looks like some old tombstones right over there though. Peaceful. Getting uh, to the end of the day here. Got a little less than an hour. I'm hoping I can do two more miles. But man, I am really dragging. So, <laughs> trying to do a 30 minute mile, sad. 
but I'm just beat. Um, looks like I'm gonna get really close to my goal though, so uh, I'm just gonna keep pushing it, and uh, it's only uh, another 55 minutes, so um, around then I'm gonna start looking for a campsite, and uh, we'll see you over there. Hey guys, I just passed the 49.2 mile mark, so I still have about 35 to 40 minutes of hiking, so I'm sure I can get in another mile. So that's gonna that's gonna do it for today. That's gonna definitely put me at the 20 mile mark. So that's awesome. I mean, I'm. I think I could fall asleep standing up right now, but uh, <laughs> sleep good tonight. But I'm just excited to uh, get the miles down. Uh, that's what I was hoping to do. So uh, pretty feel pretty good about that. I'm just gonna keep trudging along and see how far I can get. Um, when 4:30 hits, I'm gonna start looking for a campsite, and hopefully we'll find something by around quarter to five and I will see you over there